Welcome back. You're watching Morning Live. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, the 12th annual Naledi Theatre Awards will be taking place this week at Gold Reef City in Johannesburg. These prestigious awards aim to recognize and honor stalwarts and newcomers of the South African stage. These awards are an opportunity to recognize excellence in the theatre industry and showcase their work. To tell us more about this year's awards is Executive Director Dawn Lindberg. You remember... This time of the year, she's always with uh, talking to us here at Morning Live. Don't you, Morning? Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. It just seems like it was last week that I was here. I mean, the year goes so fast, doesn't I, it? I agree with you. <laughs> Let's talk about this year because it, it promises to be one thing. It's going to be very exciting. Let's talk about some of the categories. Who are we honouring? Uh, at the the ladies this year? Well, it really is uh, the most exciting, I think, of our 12 years. We've um, we've got 27 categories, which is a lot, but we move it fast. And uh, but then we're giving five special awards, and one of them is for the first time ever, which is called the Lesedi Spirit of Courage Award, and it goes to somebody who's overcome great trauma or or disadvantage and as he managed to become a star in some way and that this year I'll share it now because to create excitement we're giving it to Gay Nor Young who fell five floors down yes. you know from the from the top of a, a stage set at the State Theatre 20 years ago I remember and nobody thought she would live she broke every single bone in her body but here she is she's the most wonderful brave incredible woman she's written a book and there was a documentary done on her visit yes. back after yes. I don't know, well over a decade yes. of going back to that and then we're giving lifetime achievements Awards this year to the wonderful Alvon Collison from Cape Town. Yeah, he does such he's a staple in Cape Town. Yeah, and does such amazing work for charities as well. Uh, sung for uh, emeritus Desmond Tutu and Madiba. Also, he's wonderful, and he's not well. And um, he's, he's coming up, and then posthumously to Tully Peterson. You, yeah, he, it's the yes. 10th anniversary of his murder, and we're honouring him. David Kramer is coming up, and, and they had an iconic partnership. Uh, yeah, for 20 years. Yeah. And uh, Tembi and Charlie, we're also honouring. Yeah. And um, we've got just the most amazing lineup. Oh, we're giving our top award. Um, that's the World Impact Award for the second time only. Last year we started it uh, for for South African artists or companies who've raised the bar internationally of South African theatre and this year it's going to Lady Smith Black Mambazo. Hey. <laughs> so I'm sharing <laughs> some stuff with be. you just to kind yeah. of get the hype going because you know there are a few seats available uh, for the public to come via Compu Ticket and to check and out David. It'll be lovely to, to share it with them. So we've got great entertainment, we've got the whole of the Johannesburg Youth Orchestra 50 piece. It's a development orchestra. Age, the youngest is 12 and the oldest member is 25 under the conductor of uh, Eddie Clayton. And every piece of music is live, played live, just like at the wow. Oscars. <laughs> The event keeps on growing every year. You've added new categories. It's some categories are for the second year running. There is, unfortunately, it's the nature of the industry. You're discovering new things every year as you try and make sure the event stays relevant, uh, re-energize the event, because it has to be relevant w with the times. Well, that's not unfortunate. I think that's the best part. Mm. You know, honestly, it has been so exciting for me, um, you know, coming from the old South Africa where every theater was segregated when we started mm. and um, Des and I were, were very very fortunate to to do the first multiracial production Godspell uh, way back in the 70s but to watch since we started Naledi the true natural transformation of theatre how our new talent is coming up new young talent that's vibrant that's telling our stories that are happening right now today in South Africa and are holding a mirror up to what's happening a society I think that is so exciting and more and more uh, black artists are getting nominated mm. not through any quotas I promise you that it's just through excellence and it's so exciting to see that uh, you know the number of winners mm. and nom nominees Let's talk about uh, what the award has been able to do for the industry in an actual fact, changing the trajectory of a lot of young artists that without that nomination and award might have had might have had a different career. Well, you're absolutely right. Um, Naledi uh, is now internationally recognized. So if an artist wants to, say, go and work 
in Australia or Canada or so, their, their embassies phone us and ask for accreditation and, um, and a motivation, which is, I think, wonderful for a lady. Secondly, they, uh, anybody who's been nominated or who wins puts that onto their CVs, and it helps with job creation for them. I mean, any agent who's confronted with, say, 300 people coming to audition is going to look down and say, ah, oh, nominated for a lady, one and a lady. And, uh, and that gives them um, a status. And so they, that also helps with work. Then we, we do recognize development and young people. We've got four categories for uh, children, naught to, three, naught to 12, mm. and then uh, 13 to 17, because a lot of set works are being done now uh, for young audiences. And then we've got the best performance uh, in a play for children. And, um, and I think this is really exciting, because we, and best newcomer, Best newcomer, emerging voice. What do we we mean by that? Is somebody could have been hovering in the yeah. background, you know, and then they suddenly shine, and they get that award. Um, so and there's a, there's an amazing stuff happening. At yeah, the it really, lady. really is. And we honour, of course, that we have a tribute, special tribute to those who've taken their last curtain call, and yeah. have moved up into the great stage in the sky. But you know what is frightening, is that we started off. We used to have say twenty or or 30 at the most, um, people who've yeah. passed on. 70 this year. Wow, that's... Uh, that's daughter, very Unfortunately, sad. we're going to leave it there, but Ish. that's very sad. It's going to look <laughs> <You see>? like... <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to come back again <laughs> after the awards. And talk about it. Yeah. Uh, Dawn Lindenberg, who's the executive director of the Naledi Awards. It's the 12th annual Naledi Awards, and it's happening at Gold Reef City. Go and check it out. Google for more details. There are some tickets available. Our first...